Ghosts are just fiction, right? After all, if you can't see it, it can't hurt you. Or can it? This is a nice thought that might help you sleep at night. But the reality is there are documented cases that exist right now of people who claim to have been attacked by ghosts. The following stories might just make it difficult for you to sleep at night. Here are 10 real life cases of ghost attacks. Number 10 is the Bell Witch. The Bell Witch Haunting of 1817 to 1821 reportedly took place in Adams, Tennessee and involved a wide range of ghostly attacks on people. As with many poltergeist cases, the Bell Witch activity focused on a young girl, the daughter of the Bell family called Betsy. The poltergeist responded to the name Old Kate and would tear bed sheets from Betsy's side. As the activity increased in intensity, the ghost would pull hair and even stick needles into people. The attacks became so famous that Andrew Jackson, who would later become president, sent his men to investigate. Stories persist that they were chased away by this entity. Experts debate the veracity of the Bell Witch, with some believing it to be folklore. Others believe that the entity involved wasn't a poltergeist at all, but instead a powerful supernatural creature known as a jinn. Number nine is the Herefordshire Driver. The Herefordshire Driver is an alleged malevolent spirit who haunts a stretch of road in Herefordshire, England. The villagers there believe that an invisible ghost is causing cars to crash in one particular spot. Those afflicted by the entity claim that they drove along A465 Road and that they suddenly felt the wheel be violently turned by an unseen force. This caused each driver to lose control and has allegedly resulted in a large number of accidents across six decades. In just one 18-month stretch, a local farmer claimed that 26 vehicles crashed in exactly the same place. Witnesses say there is no reason for each crash, as it's not a dangerous stretch of road. One psychic investigating the incident suggested that the road is haunted by the spirit of a woman who died there after struggling with a passenger inside her car. Number eight is the Hammersmith Ghost. In November of 1803, residents in Hammersmith, London, began to see a ghostly apparition prowling the streets at night. As the stories of this supernatural being gathered pace, Historia fell over many who lived there, with those nearby too afraid to leave their homes. It was said that the ghost was what lingered from a man who had committed suicide and been buried in the area the previous year. The apparition supposedly attacked several people, even a pregnant woman, and there were rumors that two victims died of shock shortly after. The Hammersmith ghost also led to a bizarre chapter in British legal history where a concerned resident shot and killed a man at night. He was dressed in white overalls for his work as a painter, and the resident mistook him for the ghost. Number seven is Mr. Nobody. Also known as the Black Monk of Pontefract due to wearing a long dark robe, Mr. Nobody is at the heart of a violent haunting. The paranormal activity allegedly began in 1966 in an East Yorkshire family home and escalated to frightening levels. At first, Mr. Nobody moved furniture and closed doors. The Pritchard family who lived there at the time found the phenomena more funny than anything else, but over the years, they slowly came to believe that Mr. Nobody was a demonic force. It began smashing objects around the home and even dragged a member of the family up a staircase by the neck. The family claimed the entity haunting them revealed itself finally as a tall dark figure in black robes, which levitated above them as they slept, peering down at them mercilessly. <laughs> Number six are the Grey Friars. A cemetery in Edinburgh, Scotland has allegedly been host to a number of ghostly attacks. Known as the Grey Friars Cemetery, 
reports of violent attacks have been recorded for decades. Supposedly, these incidents began when a homeless man disturbed the coffin of one of Greyfriars' most infamous residents. The grave belonged to Bloody Mackenzie, who was involved in the deaths of thousands of people during the reign of Charles II. The cemetery is now a tourist attraction and also the location for a number of ghost walks through the city. Not surprising, some of those visiting Greyfriars have claimed to have been scratched, punched, and even burned by the malevolent spirit. There have been over 450 documented attacks, with the worst resulting in broken bones and even the rumored death of a local psychic. Number 5 is a Siberian Spirit. In February of 2018, Russian police officers filed a bizarre report which claimed that they had encountered a violent ghost. Two officers were called to what they thought was a domestic disturbance in the Kolpleshevsky district of Tomsk Oblast. When they arrived, they found an apartment in disarray and the family who lived there fearing for their lives. The family claimed that they had been under attack from a violent entity for two days. The police officers may not have believed them if they hadn't seen the activity for themselves. Objects, including a large bookcase, flew across the room at them, and then they found a knife stuck in a wall. After a priest was called, the paranormal activity continued, and the police could do nothing but file their report. Number four is the Indianapolis Poltergeist. Although the Indianapolis Poltergeist phenomenon was recorded as a haunting, some believe that the entity seemed more like a vampire. The haunting took place in 1962 in Indianapolis. Three women from the Beck family became the focal point for the disturbances. It began with some broken furniture and by the end of the first night, the family had rushed out of their house to seek shelter in a hotel. Whatever was in the house was throwing things around violently, but when the family returned, things only got worse. Strange bite marks began to appear on the arms of two of the women living there. During a police interview in the house, an officer saw one of the family members grab her own throat as if in pain, only to see two bite marks appear on her neck. Number three is the Axe Murder House. In 2014, a self-proclaimed ghost hunter was injured inside of a house with an infamous history. The events took place at the Facilla Axe Murder House in Iowa. The house is infamous because in 1912, six children and two adults were murdered there. Since then, paranormal investigators have deemed the house haunted and believe that the spirits are active there because the murders were never solved. On November 7th, 2014, Robert Stephen Lorson Jr. entered the house as part of an investigative team. While alone in one of the rooms, he began calling for help. His associates found that he had been stabbed. While he recovered from the incident, some speculate that he stabbed himself by accident, while others believe that he was forced to do it by the spirits which haunt the house. Robert has so far refused to comment on what took place. Number two is the Widow Ghost. In 2013, a village in Thailand was allegedly under attack from a murderous spirit. The claim came after at least 10 young men died suddenly in their sleep. Many in the village believe that they were all victims of the Pi Mai Mai, also known as the Widow Ghost. This creature is similar to the old hag or succubus who preys on men in their sleep. A medium was brought in to communicate with the ghost and told the villagers that families with one son were at most risk from the attacks. Following an old tradition, the families were advised to hang red cloth from their homes to frighten the ghost away. Unfortunately, more men died suddenly in their sleep and the phenomena allegedly spread to two other Thailand districts. Skeptics argue that the deaths were due to a heart condition known as sudden death syndrome, but many there believe this vengeful apparition exists and has yet to be stopped. And number one is Maria Jose Ferreira. 
also known as the Jabotikable Poltergeist. The Maria Jose Ferreira attacks took place in the late 1960s and are among some of the most brutal physical manifestations of the paranormal to ever be recorded. Taking place in Brazil, the poltergeist terrorized a family and attacked their 11-year-old daughter Maria. Stones and bricks reportedly materialized from thin air and were thrown violently at the family. Maria was scratched by unseen claws, slapped, and even bitten. Bruises appeared all over her body, and in one horrific account, she had to have needles removed from her ankle. While a medium was asked to force the ghost from the home of the Ferreira family, those attempts were unsuccessful. All available resources for this paranormal account claim that Maria then tragically took her own life.